we call it the orange story. Let me just see a show of hands. How many of you have heard the story before, recently? Okay, good, so I'm gonna indulge. How many of you in the room are parents? Last show of hands? Okay, I'm gonna expect some really good answers from you folks. You walk in the house, and your two little kids are fighting over the last orange in the house. Sounds kind of like, I want it, well I want it, but you got it last time, but you always get it, but something like that? Is that kind of how it goes? I'm not a parent, so I have to make this up. <laughs> so you walk in, you're the parent. What's the first inclination that you do? Split it. Split it, yep. Grab the orange and, and do what? Take it away. Yeah, most of the dads will do that. Most of the dads will say, take the orange away and say, both of you, go to your room for fighting and then eat the orange themselves. <laughs> and split it's a good idea. Taking it away actually does diffuse the immediate conflict for the moment, so you can figure out what it is that they're, you know, that's going on here. Some of the parents will say, you give one of them the knife, <laughs> and, and tell them they get to cut it in half, but your sister gets to pick which half she wants, giving them the incentive to cut it as close to the middle as they can, right? Because I don't want her to get one ounce more than I do. <laughs> Siblings, right? That's kind of like baseball arbitration, if you think about it. Each side puts their best offer on the table, and the arbitrator is bound to pick either one or the other and has no other options. Let me tell you what the mediator does. The mediator takes the orange and says, what about this is so important to you? It's a question that we ask in almost every mediation that we do. What about this thing that you're fighting over is so important to you? Come to find out one was outside playing soccer and is hot and tired and sweaty and I don't want milk and I don't want water and there's nothing else to drink in this silly house, you know, and just wants orange juice. The other one's got a bake sale tomorrow. That was my best impression, by the way, of a seven-year-old side. <laughs> the other one's got a bake sale tomorrow and needs to bake two dozen muffins to take to the bake sale. And the, bake, the recipe says you've got to shave the skin from one orange into the recipe. So if you cut it in half, what happens? The sister squeezes every last drop of her half of the orange and does what with a rind? Throws it away, right? The little boy who's got the bake sale takes a spoon, carves out the guts of the orange, throws it away, and shaves half of it into the recipe and can only make a, a, a dozen instead of two dozen muffins. She gets a half a glass of juice instead of a full glass of juice. And where does half of your orange end up? In the trash. The first point I want to make today is that you can get a more efficient allocation of resources by finding out what the party's interests are in those resources.